Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Very quick uh, Las Vegas shooting video, very quick one. Um, I was wrong again. I was wrong again about the uh, the, do the door, about uh, the door, this door. The store. I was wrong about uh, one thing. I was not wrong that this is, in my opinion, this is 31, 135. But I was wrong about that this door uh, is the door from 31, 135. This door in my opinion, is the door from uh, 32, 135. So, um, you know, basically, uh, I feel like, uh, I feel like the door from 31, 135 was taken off and set to the side. And then this was put, you know, the actual, you know, the, 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 the this little portion of the door that remained on the, um, remained on the, um, door jam of, 32135 from the first fake breach. They pulled that off of there and actually put it on this door jam of 31135. That's what it appears to be. And, um, you know, there's really not much more to this video than that. I believe that's the case. The reason I believe that is, you know, and I'm not. I, I, you know, initially I'm like, oh, there's no gun, there's no bullet holes in there, but the bullet holes are small, the entry holes are small. I think there is bullet holes in there. I think there's, um, I think, you know, uh, uh, this is the door from 32, 135, the entire thing, both this and the portion hanging on here were brought down from 32, 135 down to here, 131, 135. So, um, and the reason I uh, think that, measure, remember I was saying that initially I said that uh, somebody was kind of holding that door together or maybe it was glued together or something. And they probably are. And it's hanging by this thing here, you know, so the breach blew the door supposedly into pieces, but it wasn't, it was cut, you know, but didn't detach it here. It's very possible, but highly unlikely, whatever. Um... But I do think that this is this is in two pieces, but it's being held temporarily in place, you know, because of uh, uh, because they're doing a fake second breach. It's got I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm not absolutely convinced of all these things, but like I said, I wasn't there. Okay, you know. So, um, but what makes me think that is, uh, and actually, I was wrong about another thing too. I don't think I think. I think uh, I think I think both doors were cut from the inside. Thirty-two, one, three, five. Thirty-two, one, three, four were both cut from the inside. Why they had to do that is not altogether clear to me. I have a couple crazy ideas, you know. But um, and I and I suspect maybe there was a mini a miniature gun battle that might have. Um, that might have been a part of this that was never heard from the outside because the windows weren't broken yet. But, um, you know, it's like impossible for me to completely reconstruct what happened that night. So, but I do think that, I think, I think they were both cut from the inside and I think the bottom portion of this door was the way of 32, 135 was the way they got in and out of that or brought things in and out of that room and got in and out of that room from that, from the double doors from the bottom. And basically, basically, you know, it, it was, it was just very carefully once it was cut and it was cut above the deadbolt, above, above the deadbolt. So the deadbolt remained engaged the entire time. So it would never look like anybody ever left that room after a certain time. So, um, but it was basically just swiveled out this way and pulled out of place, but it would have to have been that way because, because this was cut at an, a downward angle, you know, basically so that you couldn't, you couldn't pull this in from, you could, but it would have been, it would have been trickier, you know, maybe, you know, I mean, you could have pulled it in this way and then lift, pulled it in this way and then lifted it up. I don't know. It's not really important, but actually, you know, it would be both the top and bottom. 
I just, you know, these things I'm telling you, I'm a uh, numbskull sometimes. And uh, it would it would be once you remove the bottom portion, you know, like so, and, and pull out of way, the way very carefully without disturbing the lock. And uh, then the top would almost need to be taken out too because it would just be barely hanging by the, uh, the, the this thing, you know. And also the remainder of the uh, the door that's still attached to the hinges, it would still be in place there. It could be remain there, but it would probably have just been easy just to, you know, because now there's no bottom to, to, to prevent it from being slid in but because of this angle cut that's downward. That's that's it. So, um, but the reason I do think that this is the same door as this one here is because of, um, is because of this, these two things. Which appear to be uh, appears to be just duct tape, you know, white duct tape. That's what it looks like. And uh, you know why uh, those weren't removed? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. The other thing, but those that, that's you know, uh, and it looks as though that's that tape is just kind of curled back around the bottom. The other thing is, is this these two things here? Which I have no idea what that is. My guess is it's a chair that somebody's leaning over when they take that photograph. And for some reason that's necessary because of the angle that's needed to take the picture. Um, but I was not able to locate anything in the room that looked like that. I didn't look super hard. But the fact that that's in the picture and the picture had to be taken that way for some reason. Um, to get the whole door in there, you know, from, a, from an upward angle. Maybe that's not that's not unthinkable to get all the bullet holes in there possibly. The duct tape though that's that's what why is that there you know why is why is that there? So I mean uh, you know this uh, this was the breakthrough that for me um, was the this this door the cut in the door you know that's what did if you know, that's what in uh, that's what made all this start to happen for me it makes it not go away you know it just can't go away because of this cut you know um other things too but all right that's that's it for this video that's all that's all that i've was wanted to tell you about and uh that is the story there all right thanks for watching my videos please subscribe to my channel please pretty please and uh, give me a like down below. Smash that like button. Bang. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.